I spent 13 of the last 14 days on sets for music videos that are coming out. Some days were 16, 18 hours, no bullshit. The, the like shortest day we had was like nine hours. And then yesterday, I was real blessed and privileged. My wife hooked it up that I got to work on some music with my homegirl, Viking Barbie and Kata. It was an awesome day. And today, I'm being a fat, lethargic, lazy piece of shit. So let's do some questions. Too many to name in such a short window, but quickly. 3-6 Mafia, UGK, A-Ball and MJG, Outkast, Bob Seger, James Taylor, anything old Motown music, Smokey Robinson, any kind of oldies music, Willie Nelson. Super inspired by local rap music, too. To name a few real fast, Haystack, Quanty Cash, Pistol, Cool Daddy Fresh, Boogie, uh, Rude Awakening, The Blow Pop Crew, CWB, The Burners, you know, I listen to all that shit, serving the world. Oh man, congratulations, dude. I'm so glad and so happy for you. And I'm so I'm so happy that my music can play a little role in something so special in your life. And I hope you're taking it one day at a time and I hope it just continues to work for you every day. Oh, thank you for asking. The song is called Dance With Ghosts and it's on the new album. We just shot the video for it. It's fucking an incredible record, man. It was definitely written from a whole different perspective about something I normally don't write about and I'm really excited for y'all to hear it. Lily, you know the answer to this, baby. Holler at me. Just hit D-Ray up, hit me up, or hit the wife up. We're going to make that thing shake, baby. You know we got you, young Ferg. Man, I am absolutely dying to tour. I mean, dude, it's I can't even describe it. Yeah, I think your mammy gives better blowies than your aunt, bitch. <laughs> Like a fresh spring geyser coming out of the Swiss Alps on a windy fucking 72 degree afternoon with the sun beaming down and glowing out of the sky with the hand of God attached to it, I tell you. I say this humbly. I wouldn't beat you. I would embarrass you. I'm the fucking man at Tetris. And while we're talking about it, Jerry Robinson, you come over and get some whenever the fuck you want some. All that Tetris talk you're doing, I kick your ass too. Come on down, contestant number one. I couldn't agree more, and so does White, baby. You do not have to worry. Probably um, spring of next year, summer at the latest, for fucking sure. Ironically, I had a conversation with Struggle the day after he did his. I watched it. He said it went incredible. So, yeah, definitely. I actually talked to a guy this morning about it, and I got a call with my booking agent, Hunter Williams, top of the week to figure it out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Next time we tour, we're 100% doing meet and greets. Fucking for sure. We actually finally started doing them in the last few, like, right before the COVID came in. But, no, nah, dude, I can't wait. I love meeting people, man. It's like just being able to have that interaction. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, my motherfucking brother, man. Thank you, brother. I'll send you know me. I'm going to send you a little something to listen to early. But, man, it's actually going really well. I had a rough week, to be honest. I've been on like a five-day drinking binder, whole bender. But uh, I'm getting back on it. My motherfucking Canadian twin, my motherfucking road dog, baby. You know I love you, Bubba. Hey, man, check your email Monday morning. I'm sending you something. I need you on this one, Bubba. Man, he's like the best dude ever. He fits so right in with our crew, man. He's such an awesome dude. Only problem I got with George Lockhart is he thought he could outdrink me, and I had to learn him a lesson one night, Poppy. You hear me? She took a small break for like a couple of weeks to stack up a bunch of podcasts because she don't like doing them over Zoom or Skype. So she's actually fitting to have like a whole bunch of them come out with a whole bunch of crazy motherfuckers. Stay tuned.